So on this channel, we've talked about events of how people ruin other people's careers, or how cancer culture ruins careers. But in very rare cases, we've seen where someone ruins their own career by lying about something. John Swan is a commentary YouTuber with about 164,000 subscribers. He's grown a community and has been extremely well known for his high quality editing and videos about popular topics. However, just last year, John Swan had gotten into major drama with the YouTuber Dream. Back in 2021, Drew McGall and Nicola John Swan for pretending to be him and going around using the n-word and saying very inappropriate things to his fans. When all this would come out, majority of the commentary community would go on and take John Swan's side and go after Dream. Even people like John Swan's friends would believe him. However, it was only to find out that John Swan had been lying about the entire situation, and it was John Swan the entire time pretending to be Dream. And he would admit this on Twitter and confess about the entire thing. And his reputation would take a dramatic hit after him lying for no reason, and basically lying to the entire community. And this situation perfectly represents modern day cancer culture as people will take sides before letting someone else come out with their take. I plan to go over all that in this video, and if I do miss any information, please let me know in the comments since I'm 15 and I don't know shit. I mean, the comment's not wrong. And before people say, hey Scorpion, this isn't an original video, I know, when have I ever been original on this channel? Anyway, subscribe, drop a like, and let's get into the video. Apparently he lied to us all about everything. But he wanted me to just like be a moderator and not voice my opinion whatsoever on my platform. If you know the answer, then you know the answer. So you did it! That's what I'm gonna say. I, I, I... Before everything would occur, John Swan had become a very well-known commentary channel in the community. He had really started gaining a following for his high advanced editing and storytelling in his videos, making it separate from the basic editing like mine. One of John Swan's most popular videos on his channel is his Minecraft documentary that he made in 2019, in which he went over Minecraft's entire history, and as of today, the video sits at 1 million views. And ironically enough, John Swan had featured Dream in his Minecraft documentary video, along with other more content creators. More videos all pop off across John's channel would be his little Chris Hansen and Deji mini-series, along with his good friend Nicholas DiOrio. Fast forwarding to all the way to February of 2021, John Swan would go on and make a tweet called Holy Shit, Dream is an Actual Douchebag LMAO, where in the clip it basically displays Critical, aka Charlie, criticizing Dream for what he used to do before he got really big off of YouTube. Charlie, continue, why, why is he so spoiled or whatever you were saying? So. Well, I was, I was just saying, I, I didn't, I thought Kai didn't believe he had an ego. I was just going to say, because I went on a podcast with him and he was telling this story about like, he always knew he was going to blow up and his advice to up and comers was to be super confident to the point of arrogance. When this clip began going around, this made more people shit on Dream. As because prior to this, Dream had been exposed for cheating in his Minecraft speedruns, in which he had tried to lie and say that he didn't cheat when he really did. And this made Dream get a lot of backlash for that. When John had made this tweet about Dream, Dream would respond by calling out John Swan on reddit this guy is bad news a while back right after i interviewed with him for a minecraft documentary he changed his profile picture and name on discord to mine and started damning people pretending to be me he sent people the n-word and a lot of other stuff as well as said sexual stuff while claiming that it was me the whole time and giving his main twitter to vouch where he would then from his main twitter vouch said it was mean say that we were amazing friends and linked the documentary to prove it once i confronted him about it very nicely given the circumstances he said that his friend hacked his account and done it I didn't reply to him and unfollowed him, and I don't think he is super fond of me since then. When Dream came forward to Reddit with this, many people were super skeptical of this, since John Swan has never really gotten to any sort of controversy with anyone, and he was just a really well-liked person in the commentary community, and it just seemed completely out of character of John to do that. And people had assumed that Dream wasn't telling the truth, since Dream has been caught into multiple scandals, and since Dream has been heavily criticized for his ego. However, later on, John Swan would go on to escalate the drama even further with a tweet reading, Dream has made accurate accusations about me on reddit to try and smear my credibility so i will respond here in detail to ensure that everything is perfectly clear basically john saying that it wasn't him pretending to be dreaming stuff john Swan would then go on to tweet even more things to try and back his claim up even more back probably a year ago i was visiting some family friends one of the guys i was talking to was much younger than me and wanted to know about youtube and what i did to make videos since i didn't have a pc with me i logged into discord on his laptop and showed us some things that i had screenshot and sent to other people before i left i foolishly 
actually didn't log out of my account. He decided it would be a good idea to start trolling on my account with his friends I use an alt account, as well as my account to have conversations with about three different people. One of these was Harley. He used an alt account, changed his name and profile picture to dream and started saying some really strange stuff. It was like 12 year old humor. I was told the n-word was said, but I have seen no evidence of that, but I did find convos about Minecraft sex mod and other weird shit. As soon as I found out about it, I logged out of Discord on all of my accounts and called up the parents of the guy who was involved and explained to him how this stuff could have great impact on other people, but he was young and didn't get it. But I did get him to change the account back and seize his conversations. As far as I know, he only matches one person as Dream, that being Harley, since he was the only person that was engaging at the time. That's the context of the situation, which I explained to Dream, albeit in much less detail. Really fucked up that he would try to twist it like this. There was no vouching on my main Twitter as well. That's just a lie and didn't happen. This was exclusively Discord. To present the story that this was some big thing where I would mesh as multiple people as Dream to try and ruin it is categorically untrue. It just shows his true character. Obviously, when John had backed himself up like this, many people in the community all took John's side. Even most of his friends would all believe him. A majority of the commentary community would take his side for the most part. The main reason why many people believe John was telling the truth was because like we already said, John is a very like super loyal and really never lies at all, and usually keeps it 100 most of the time. And at this time, many people began to start attacking Dream, as because Dream was already into some shit before this, as because he got exposed for his past scandals. However, Dream would later come out and respond by saying that John Swan was just doing this for attention, and saying how he had every reason to be suspicious about the whole thing. And funny enough, the very next day, Dream would go live on Twitch with about 300,000 viewers, explain his entire side of the story, and as well going through and debunking some of John Swan's claims about him. Said hello. Harley said hi. He said what's up. Harley said nothing much. Just wanted to add you because you seem fun to talk to. They had priorly talked on Twitter, but not on Discord. He said things not working out with LT Cobra. For context, LT Cobra is a friend of Harley's that John Swan knew about and was a prior relationship knowing that Harley was having issues with LT Cobra. Interesting. So apparently Swan claimed to me earlier today that this was his 12 year old friend that he hasn't spoken to in a year. How, I ask you, how would his 12 year old friend know about Harley's relationship with LT Cobra? However, despite Dream explaining his side of the story, most of the commentary channels still gave him shit, since Dream didn't really have any hard evidence that he was telling the truth at all. And this allowed most commentary channels to debunk Dream and still give him a bunch of crap. And they were still able to defend their lord and savior John Swan. John would then go to defend himself even more by releasing an entire 13 page long Google Doc and making an entire video defending himself. Innocent until proven guilty. That is a phrase that has lost a lot of significance as of recent. It seems people disregard it entirely in favor of passing judgment based on circumstantial evidence. But who can really blame people when the evidence is presented without proper knowledge or context. And again, people took John's side throughout this entire thing, because Dream has been called out for lying too, and clearly Dream lies, and people had to assume that Dream was lying again and try to ruin a smaller content creator for his own game. And people didn't really believe that John Swan used the n-word and said any sexual stuff to any fans. And throughout this, it was more so Dream stands versus John in the entire commentary community, since I'm sure that we all know that Dream stands are well. Interesting. A majority of Dream's fanbase all believed him since they're heavily obsessed with him. Now, I've never talked to John Swan a day in my life, and probably never will. However, as all this drama was transpiring throughout this whole time, John Swan was looking way more suspicious as time was going on. For starters, Dream would go on to Drama Alert and give his take about the drama. And surprisingly, John Swan didn't come on to Drama Alert when he was invited to give his own take. Uh, he did send me a second statement. So, the second statement is, my manager has advised me not to go on Drama Alert at this this time and respond in detail later on. I pride myself in thoroughness and research. Dream dropped a stream that he had prepared hours for, and I had 10 minutes to prepare for this interview on Dromler. 
I will be responding, but not here. I wish you luck in the interview, which is basically the same thing. Look, here's the thing, right? Yeah. I, I, if you lived it, if you were there, right, why can't you just get on and talk about it, right? Like, it just, it makes yeah. no sense to me. Which is strange. If you're so confident that you know you're in the right, and you get offered to come on to a drama alert to prove that you're in the right and show the world that you're not lying, why don't you show up? And most people in Keemstar's comments had all believed that Dream was telling the truth. However, overall, most people didn't want to call John Swan guilty just yet. However, very ironically enough, on the night of February 26, 2021, John Swan's friend Nicholas Diorio would get on a call with him, and it would be revealed that Nicholas Diorio had confronted John Swan about the entire thing and John Swan would basically confess about everything. And what do you know, it would turn out that John Swan had been lying about pretty much everything. There was no fan on Discord trolling, and there was no one that hacked into John Swan's account, as because John Swan had been pretending to be Dream the entire time. When John Swan had been confronted by his friend Nicholas Diorio, he had tried to say that it wasn't him pretending to be Dream. But eventually, John Swan would go on to say that if you know the answer, then you know the answer. And then you just like, you weren't expecting it to ever come back up again, and it came back up again, and it was just a big shit show, and you just tried to bury it, and then it got bigger, and then you just fucking made a document. There's no way that's what happened. I'm trying really hard here, because Nick... Dude, I'm not gonna go make a fucking video on you, okay? I'm just I'm just asking, because I want to know. Because, like, I feel like I already know the answer. So it's, like, really, like, I, there's no reason to lie to me. If you know the answer, then you know the answer. So you did it! That's what I'm gonna say. I, I, I... John, come on! I'm not... No, I'm not. I don't know. Who knows? If you know the answer, you know the answer. Are you, like, the slightest bit worried? No, not really. And also to mention, throughout this entire situation, as John Swan was lying about the entire thing, John Swan would post a tweet with the caption, I'm uncancelable. Well, not really, because after he was confronted, John Swan would cave in and make a public tweet admitting that it was him the entire thing and said he was taking accountability. And when John Swan came out to try and apologize to everyone, many people were not buying what John Swan was trying to say. Because John Swan saying sorry was not really gonna cut it, when you basically lied to everyone in the community, and even your own friends who tried to defend you, and have literally everyone else shit on Dream for absolutely no apparent reason. And this tweet of John saying that he's taking accountability shows that he was only sorry because he got caught lying now. Meaning if he didn't get caught then he wouldn't really have cared when he's continued this entire lie. John Swan would apologize to his friends and everyone who blindly defended him on his Twitter post. I also want to apologize to everyone that stuck their neck out to defend me. People like Nick, Augie, Boblax, Tipster, Optimus, and others. I lied directly to their faces and put everyone's credibility in danger. I didn't consider how this might affect them, but I should have. Once again, and there was no excuse for what I did. Also in this Twitter post, he goes on to say how he first panicked when he dug himself in a hole. I panicked again and made my thread, digging myself into a deeper hole. I thought it would only look bad if people thought I was impersonating a YouTuber, even though it was so small and inconsequential at the time. But I understand now that lying about something on as big of a scale as this is indefensible, even though he was the one that mainly escalated this whole entire thing. If John had just come on and said, yeah, I pretend to be Dream, I'm just sorry I was shown or something, he might have gotten a little shit for it, but it would have been pretty tame compared to getting called out for lying about something as serious as this. And it's very hard to feel any type of sympathy for John Swan after he just kept digging himself in a deeper, deeper hole. When he made a 13 long page Google Doc, an audio recording, and lots of tweets trying to back yourself up, and it just makes you wonder how the hell can anyone get away with a lie for that long, and how do you defend yourself off of so many lies you started in the first place? And when this all came out that John Swan had lied about pretty much everything, everyone in the commentary community had came out and was very surprised and shocked and disappointed in John Swan at the same time, considering they all defended him. So the commentary community has been sort of flipped on its head instantaneously overnight. This all happened pretty much while I was asleep, and I wake up, I log into Twitter, I'm looking through it and everything, the first few things that I start seeing are about John Swan, right? I've got DMs and all kinds of stuff, and I start looking through this, and it comes out that John Swan lied about everything in this whole dream situation, the one that pretty much the entire commentary community stood behind him in. He was publicly defended by so many people for this entire situation, and it turns out that we were all made fools. We were all told a bunch of lies directly by John Swan in some of our circumstances here. John would go on to delete his Twitter account after all the hate he was receiving, and pretty much stop being active on all of his social medias at the time. Dream would then come 
forth with his thoughts and how he feels about John Swan confessing about his lies. It's come to my attention that John Swan has confessed to his friends about lying about me after being confronted with new evidence, and has deleted his response after my stream. I'm glad this has come to an end, but severely disappointed in John Swan for continuing to lie about me despite me giving him multiple opportunities to tell the truth. I would like an apology to me and to my community from John Swan, but I'll probably not get one. I'm also very disappointed in the commentary channels that have made narratives that I slandered a small creator. Hope they'll put equal effort into making sure that people know I didn't, as they did into that. That's it though, I don't plan on talking about it anymore, and remember don't attack anyone on my behalf. Thank you guys for the support as always, and Detective Dream on top. After all the drama, the commentary community was left in disappointment in John, as they had to risk pretty much their reputation to defend a liar, and pretty much everyone else just slandering on Dream when he was actually telling the truth the whole time. And pretty much all the commentary channels would actually give an apology to Dream, as they all went after him for no reason. Again, I apologize to Dream for any videos that I did on this situation. I simply trusted the word of someone that I consider to be a friend. I didn't expect this person to lie to me. I trusted that they were telling me the truth. And based on those mistruths that were communicated to me, I unfortunately spread some misinformation. John would then start losing a bunch of subscribers and viewership, and he would try to come back to YouTube and make more videos, but his views have gone down drastically. As of present day, he only averages about 50,000 to 100,000 views off his videos, and many people have just lost all respect for John, because after all, on YouTube, you can't really trust anyone, since it's hard to tell someone for who they are through a computer screen. I mean, you guys already know who I am in real life. John Swan used to be a very well-liked person, and had very high-quality videos, and had a very loyal community, and he has pretty much ruined all that on his own accord. He started the whole drama, dug himself deeper and deeper into his lies, and pretty much just paid the price after the entire situation all occurred. With every one of his videos having a bunch of dislikes and people hating on him in his comment section, John Swan pretty much knew he was well liked and had a very good reputation, and he pretty much weaponized his fan base and his friends for most of the part. John will most likely continue to post YouTube videos, but his reputation will most likely never recover, as he's now going to be looked at as a blatant liar, and has shown and proven that he is very very flaky and someone that you can really not not trust 100% of the time. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing, drop a like if you want to. Go follow my Twitter at jamesloffkinyt. That's the best video for headers and with my videos. Go follow my Twitch and join the Discord server. And I also want to say thanks so much for 800 subscribers. We've been going fast as hell lately, and I can't thank you guys enough for the support recently in my videos. Because it's cool making these videos and seeing some of your guys' thoughts in the comment sections and some people's criticisms against me. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Liars never get away.